What's going on everybody? Evan here with Evan's Detailing and Polishing. We got that tank right there. Today we're gonna show that sanding past 600 is a waste. Um, I'm not saying you can't do it, you can do it. Um, we're just gonna prove that you don't necessarily need to. Uh, so we're gonna polish that whole section there. I'm gonna sand it. First grid I'm gonna do is 400. And uh, I'm gonna sand the whole section. And we're gonna work all the way up to uh, either two or 3,000, whatever we got room for. All right, so just finished up the 400. I'm gonna jump into the 600, but I'm gonna tape off one section so we can't get into the 400, uh, just so you guys can see that we can buff out 400. Um, good luck. All right, so I'm gonna tape this off, 400 on this side. I'm gonna start working 600 that way. All right, next we're gonna to go to the 800 grit, but we're gonna show you the taped out the four and six. That side's 400, that side's 600. Now we're gonna work on the eight this way. Then we're gonna switch out to the thousand, I think 12, 15, 2000, and 3000. All right, we completed the 800. Now we're gonna go to the thousand grit with holes in it. Uh, I don't like using sandpaper with holes, but over a thousand grit, this is all I can get. All right, as you can see, like I said, we got the 400, 600, and 800 taped off. We're gonna keep going. As you can see, it's getting pretty shiny over here already. Over here, less shiny. Over here, more shiny. We'll pull all that tape off when we go to buff it. All right, so I don't know how well you can see this, but as you can see, the pores are starting to close over at 1,000 grit already. It was looking shiny over here at 800 and 600 grit, but now that we got to the thousand, it's starting to close the pores up. Now this is what DA, Keenan did bring up. This isn't with a rotary. Uh, we will also test that out, but you can see that the pores are closing up pretty good. And that was thousand grit. We're now moving on to 1200 grit. All right, so we're completed with the 1200. We're gonna swap to the 1500. I'm gonna switch this around here so you can see it a little bit better. Like I said, 400, 600, 1,000, 1,200. 1,200 is done all the way across. It's getting really smooth, but it's not really bringing out any more of the shine. You can see the pores are really closing up on this, and it's really getting tight. And as soon as those pores close up, it's really hard to get the buff in there. Like I said in a previous video, our brown cuts at technically 380. I do 600 just because it goes faster. Um, you're really gonna see it when we go to buff the the side that's sanded out the 2000 grit is gonna be an absolute nightmare to polish so stay tuned it's gonna be cool all right so just finished 1500 now we're switching over to the 2000 and then uh, we just got 3000 after that um, just throwing the tape on right now uh, I know how much it sucks to buff over 2,000. I'm already not looking forward to it. 15? 400, 600, 800, 1,000, 1,200, and 1,500 all the way up to that tape there. All right, so all we got left, 3,000. Let's spin you around here so you can see it one more time. 400, 600, 800,000, 12, 15, 2,000, and this side over here is gonna be 3,000. Right now you can see it's super smooth, but there's no reflection at all to it. The 600 and 800 section here has some reflection to it, but this over here, we're losing the reflection. It's super smooth, but the reflection's gone, which to me tells me the pores are closing up. Uh, not always a good thing when sanding and buffing, but there you have it.
All right, so now we're gonna have Keenan cut this thing. I'm gonna show you now that we got the tape cut off and looking right, I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. So you can see some pretty distinctive lines on where those separations are. But if you look into the reflection here, 400, it's gonna buff pretty decent. 600's a little smoother, 800 smoother. But as soon as you get to that 1,000, where'd that reflection go? It's just gone. And that's all the way over to 3,000 there. And like I said, 400, 600, 800, 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, 2,000, and 3,000. The 3,000 is smoother, but it definitely doesn't polish as well. And Keenan's going to show that here shortly. So it's going to get interesting. And here we go. Right. Yep. All right, so I gotta ask you, when you're buffing, <laughs> yeah. I see it jerking quite a bit. Uh -huh. What are you feeling? Oh, it hits just soft. As soon as you hit that oh, thousand yeah. grit? Because look at this. I, the compound. Yeah, I want everybody to see this. But you can see four, four and six here is a pretty distinctive line. It's at least shiny. Um, you could hit that a second time and it would be really oh, yeah. nice gloss. But as soon as you get over here, look at this. It's just gumming up. The compound's just... Just literally everywhere. And the further you get closer to 3000, that shine's just literally non-existent over there. It's super smooth, but it's soaking up a ton of compound and it just doesn't look, you can see it here in the video. It does not look great. All right, you can go back to it. I just had to stop you. <laughs> Saw you shaking your head and I knew you were struggling. I'm gonna try to get this out of the direct light a little bit and try and help you see what I'm seeing here. As soon as you get to that thousand grit here, it's absolutely terrible. There's tons of compound. It's not pigtails, but it's like dried, dried aluminum almost. Yeah. That's probably the best way to you explain can even it. You hear it in the buffer zone. I didn't change pressure, but you can hear it. Yeah, you kept really good pressure all the way across, but that anything above a thousand is just miserable. But anything down here. Honestly, this would this would cut and color out here with the second pass and then straight into a color You'd be golden, but this down here you go to color that and it's gonna, it's gonna turn black I'll color it. I got a yellow wheel. Yeah, I know we should put a second cut on it and then color it All right, now we're gonna yellow and green it. Just so you can see what it looks like when it's colored. Um, yeah, right here. It's definitely right gonna here. get interesting real quick. 
Uh, I'll spin you back around so you can see what this looks like with the uh, anything above 800. It's not pretty, folks. So I don't know if you can see this as well as I can here. There's a lot of LED light in here, so we'll roll it outside when we want to show you the finish. But 4, 6, and 8 all look exactly the same. Um, so honestly, 6, I feel like, cuts a little faster. Not in this general situation, but 6 cuts a little faster for me personally when I'm doing stuff in the shop. Um, so for me, 800 is a waste, but 4, 6, and 8 all look exactly the same. 400 takes a little longer, 600 and 800 take a little less. But since they all turn out the same, why waste the extra sheet? Um, as soon as you get to that 1,000, that is a real sharp 1,000 line. And you can see a bunch of little white spots. Those are all going to turn black. But that's from the pores being completely closed. Once those pores are closed up, it doesn't want to accept the polish at all. So, like I said, as you can see going along here, this is nice, nice, nice. And then, bam, very distinct line where that 1,000 is. And then 1,000 all the way up the rest of the way. It's just not great. All right, color away. All right, yellow and green. All right, so if you look at this here, here's the four, 400 grit up, 600 grit up, 800 grit up, 1,000 grit starts getting this black stuff. Can we wipe it off? Yeah, we can wipe it off. But it's not awesome underneath that. It's not shiny like the rest of it here. Well, this is my training tank. It's nasty, so bear with these excess hash marks. You'd work those out with a yellow and brown and then go to a white and green if you wanted to make this really nice. But this is just for example. And then as soon as you get down here, 1,000 grits, Bernie, 1,200, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000. It just gets worse and worse as you come down here. I mean, I don't even think hand polish would take all this out. I mean, I'm going to give it a try and see what happens just to see if it is still reflective underneath there. But honestly, to me, all these pores are completely closed and it's just not accepting the compound very well. So we'll try and hand polish it and see what it looks like. Got the old time to shine hand polish over there. Or at least take the black stuff off. I don't know about the shine underneath it, but. Now I wouldn't hand polish the four, six, and eight section just because it's shiny. And as you can see, the reflection is really good over here. Clarity is really good. And maybe this will surprise me. Maybe it will be shiny underneath there, but I just don't feel like it buffed really all that well. Wiping it off with some cotton terry here. And just like I thought, it's gonna be white and hazy underneath it there. You can see it's not like DA pigtails underneath it. It's just, it didn't want to accept the polish. Yeah, shiny here, nice and clear. All the way till we get, bam. Right there's where the thousand grit starts. It's, it's not shiny at all over there. And all the way down to 3000 grit, just Real hazy and milky, not great. I get asked this question a lot. A lot of people are like, man, I sand it out to 2000 grit. It just, it doesn't look great. My first thing I always tell everybody is go back to 600 grit, re-sand it out at 600 grit and buff it. You'll be surprised. It'll buff clear out at 600 grit. And as you can see right there, that's four, six or eight right there. That one's four. This line right here is unpolished. This is where we train people. Then we got 400, 600, 800, and then that's right where 1,000 starts. So anything 800 or less, like I said, to me, 800 is a waste. Um, I don't like skipping my grits in the lower grits either. So some people say, why don't you just run it to eight? It polishes faster. To me, the speed doesn't outweigh the cost. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Finally actually showed it in a video so people can see it. 
Um, I guess there's nothing else much to say, but I hope this helps somebody. And uh, that's all we got. See you guys next time. Of course, all the products we use are available on goshenon.com forward slash shop. And uh, we appreciate you guys all stopping by.